After all has been said and done, we now await that Marang has swung her way back to James' house in a way of it's illegal because he knows that James cannot remember anything and she is taking advantage of who the current state he is. Ladies and gentlemen, as you can already see, we're going to be reviewing Mubango Sanbonan. Oh shit. Mulen, Minjani. Hifakile hingangwena. Sana mutla kwa nangunakwa hina wa Mubango hikumakore. Imani went to work and then when she comes back, she just realized that Marang has moved in and playing victim. And unfortunately, Mia James Vorba Chashika and then started telling James how he left Marang in the, on the altar. So of which I think James felt bad and started asking as to how were you living and all of that. And I think this is going to put Imani in a bad state because now... The mother of the bride says that Imani, oh, of which now James start to see Imani on the other eye. Anyway, moving right along. So, I think she's so desperate to get a child. I just wish that Rendani could just get a child and then she can be in a better place now. I think that would work because at this point in time, Ujiangwana Wagugu does not necessarily help the situation. In any case, Tate, everyone is unsettled because now Murado thinks that he is the better chief than Bafu. And I still think Bafu is still the man. I don't know, but there's just that thing about me when I look at this and I just feel like Bafu should still go back to his chair. But then, hey, Murado is there and they will not even let it pass by. I, IVF now, um, I think... Uh, it is now official. They are going to have a baby because now Bangani have agreed to the fact that they are going to do the IVF and they are going to be using the money. Ya ugembula. I just don't understand. Ore. What was happening? Because at first he said that God cannot give through gambling. Thank you so much for watching my video. I'll see you on my next upload. Remember, Jesus loves you always.